Hey, as some of you have seen, I've been out snowboarding uh, in New Mexico. Super fun experience. My first time ever to snowboard. I have been surfing and wakeboarding quite a bit. A couple of my favorite hobbies there. So I figured uh, whenever I got the invite to go with some friends out to go skiing that I would pick up snowboarding. So uh, the first thing I did uh, was take some lessons. Uh, I took two and a half hours of lessons. Your basic lessons told me you know, about twisting the board because I knew the steering would be different. So I took the time to listen to some people who had the experience. Now me, I got bored with it pretty easily and decided I'm going up that mountain uh, with my buddy. And so uh, I did go with him and helped uh, to watch him uh, and see what he was doing. But whenever we got to the top of that mountain uh, and got off that ski lift and all of a sudden there I am, there's no way down except to go over that edge. Uh, so just like I would do in business, I decided, you know what, I've got to be sold on this or it's not going to work, right? So um, I knew first off that it, morally, yeah, I'm, I'm bought in. I'm okay with it. Uh, conquering this mountain, getting out, getting healthy, getting active is really going to be good for me. And then I knew it was possible. I'd seen other people do it. I knew that physically it was possible. So all I had to do was apply uh, what I had learned, the things I had learned, into practice right make them have it and yeah i crashed but i was able to go down that mountain several times the first day the second day by the third day i was getting there i posted a couple of videos of that but it happened because i was sold on what i was doing i knew that there was no other way down that mountain except to go down it on my feet i wasn't about to slide down on my butt so i got up there i got nervous to tell you the truth and i'm like you know what put my first foot down Hey, I'm either going to do it or I'm going to die trying. And you know what? As Grant Cardone said, failure it just gave me more of a reason or made me more determined. Right? So every time I fell down, hey, you know what? I can do this. And you know, the funny thing is, is the more I, I messed up, the more I decided there's no other option here but to go all the way. First curve, uh, you come down there at Towski Valley down on your heels right heel into it turn around toe side my buddy's like hey man how are you doing that toe side goofy i'm like tell what i'm trying to stay up right but i was applying the principles of turning my ankles and feeling that took me down and that's what got me there so it wasn't some huge revelation a lot of you are not successful because you're waiting for some huge revelation some some moment that will take you and be like, oh, here it is. This is it. This is my grand opportunity. No, it's the little opportunities that you get and applying what you learn through those little opportunities that stack up, stack up, stack up uh, to make the day. The Bible says, uh, do not despise the day of small things. So what that means is, is that you're to take things as they come, build on it. And as you build on those little things and you believe in yourself, you're sold on what you're doing, you'll be able to sell other people on what you're doing. You'll be able to uh, become successful. Don't let waiting on something big happen in your life keep you from being successful. Tackle the small things, believe in it, go all the way. It's all the way or nothing. Whenever you, whenever I hop on that mountain and you put your front foot forward, you gotta put your front, the weight on your front foot. It means you're basically falling down that mountain, right? Keeping your weight forward. If you try to hold back and reserve, the back of your board's gonna uh, get traction. The front of your board's gonna catch something, go sideways, you're gonna be smack on your face. I did it multiple times. So look, whenever you're all in it, you you know you're doing the right thing, okay? You're you're doing something you believe in, and you've got the education, you've got some knowledge of what you're doing, and you're just all in for it. That's the only way to live life. It's the only way I would tell you to live life and to go for things. So look. If you're trying to get out of your rut, don't wait for the big thing. Start applying small changes in your life. And uh, did you know that you're 300% more likely to act on a thought or idea if you have recently acted um, or performed physical action? So get out, get your lifestyle right. Exercise, start practicing, take an action. That's going to become addictive. And that's what's going to lead you to the monster action that you're able to make of in your life through all the small actions that you take. Start taking those small actions. And then before you know it, you'll be able to look back and see the things that you've done and be like, wow, I can't believe I came this far this fast. 
and hey, good luck to you. A happy and a successful 2017 by you taking action and doing what you can do right now to change your life and to change the world for others around you.